Hey everyone, this is Pam Coey and this is part two of my large scale acrylic painting that I started last time with house paint. And now I'm going to be moving into uh, some more fun, some more play, and I'm just going to be cutting some collage papers. As you can see here, I'm just using whatever I have that happens to be a circle, whether it's upside down container or roll of tape, or every roll of tape is a different circumference and then I'm cutting out various pieces of collage paper that I've collected over time. Uh, some of the papers that I'll be using are, are handmade papers that I've painted on and others are ones that I've bought. In general I like to really mix things up if I'm going to use collage paper. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm really just doing this very randomly too. I'm not, <laughs> sometimes I'll turn the paper upside down and draw a circle so I don't really even see what it is that I'm cutting out, but I like to mix different thicknesses of paper and you know different I'm not really looking at the subject matter so much I'm looking at the colors the the values the overall uh, designs and you know some are solid and some have prints but again I just like to really mix it up and I know there are a lot of artists out there who love to use collage paper so I mean this is part of what I did a long time ago and, and it stays with me it's, it's fun it's a great way just to throw some elements onto your painting that kind of get a conversation going. And that's what I needed here. I needed some direction. And here's the house paint. You can see that the cans are half empty and I'm adding some airbrush medium. It's golden airbrush medium to thin things out a bit. And I'm gonna be pouring this onto the parchment paper. I kind of discovered this by accident, but I'm, I'm rolling it on here and I added the airbrush medium just to thin it out a bit. And then I'm gonna, you know, let it dry. I'm gonna use a hair dryer in a couple seconds here because I'm impatient. But <laughs> a lot of these papers just sat overnight in my studio, and I basically made several of these large parchment paper sheets with acrylic on them. And here is some golden acrylic gloss gel to collage the parchment paper backed acrylic, but I accidentally put the parchment side down the first time I'm showing you here. <laughs> so then, oops, um, yeah, it should have been the paint side down and then you just peel the parchment paper away. I did it kind of the opposite that time, but later on I'll, I'll get the hang of it and do it the right way. And I'm just mixing colors here, adding a little bit of that yellowish color to the blue just to get a different hue and then a bit of red. And again, these are all colors that were in the painting. And now I'm gonna do a larger sheet of parchment paper that's sitting on top of some newsprint. Just pour it out and get my brayer and try to get an even thickness pretty much. Cover that whole sheet of parchment paper. And the reason I do that is because once that dries, I can cut out shapes. You know, they can be circles, they can be stripes. There it is on the floor drying more newsprint parchment paper some splatters I also use the parchment paper when I collage something onto the panel I will oftentimes put the parchment paper on top of what it is I'm brayering. Uh, just I'll put the, the parchment paper against the collage element that has the golden acrylic gel and then just put the parchment paper over it so that I don't get the brayer all full of the gel. Here's another piece of it's really kind of more scrap that I've cut circles out of and I put the paint side down and when that's dry I peel away the parchment paper and that's in another video that I've already uploaded on YouTube. I guess I called it sort of an acrylic transfer. So I'm just basically randomly putting all these things onto this painting and this video was actually going to be longer but um, my program that I do the video editing with 
got overwhelmed with the number of videos that I was trying to speed up and so it kind of gave me a hard time and I <laughs> decided that this this one is going to have to end where it ends instead of going into the next stage. It's actually this painting has really come along but I've kind of broken it up into these smaller bite-sized pieces because that's about as much as my computer can handle at one time. There I'm checking to see if it's dry. There I've got some strips of paper that I'm putting on and you can see that I put down the golden acrylic gel first and then I put the strips and then I put the parchment paper over it but you can use any covering paper it could be tracing paper too but if you put newsprint it'll stick so the parchment paper just tends to not really stick you could use wax paper I happen to like parchment paper though I have a wide variety of collage papers that I've collected and some of them come from the store called Hollanders it's in Ann Arbor, Michigan, so my sister lives in Michigan, and when I go to visit her, sometimes we'll end up in Ann Arbor, and I'll go to the Hollanders and collect a few more papers, and it's really awesome because they will actually ship them home for me, so I don't have to carry them on the plane. And I'll, a lot of times I'll put acrylic paint just on like a not-too-heavy drawing paper. It can be also on just printer paper, and then you can cut it out, collage it on. You can also put paint on rice paper and collage that on. I've also used a jelly plate. So it, um, in this painting, I actually have collaged on some cardstock. It's a little bit heavier paper, and that's why I need the acrylic gel medium instead of just a polymer gloss, um, the thinner polymer medium. Sometimes you need a really hefty gel medium to, for the heavier papers. And there I have a pair of tweezers to really catch the edge of the parchment paper. Sometimes it's hard just to get it to lift up. It's, uh, it doesn't have anything really standing out. It's kind of an all-over pattern, even after I put on all these collage elements. And you'll see in the next video that I do something pretty different from what you've seen so far. I won't tell you just yet what it is, but um, here are some close-ups. And just to give you an idea of the surface quality and what these collage elements have done. So thanks for watching, everybody.